Agora TV. The world is thinking. This monkey has been trained that when the little light comes on, it's one of those sessions where I can now get food, and it knows that if I press this lever 10 times, after a little bit of a delay, I'll get some food. If I press the lever 10 more times, I'll get some more food. It understands the task. So what do we have here? We have first a signal, the light coming on, saying it's one of those sessions. We're starting one of those. Then the monkey does the work, and then with a the delay, it gets the reward. And what everyone initially thought was dopamine would go up after the reward. That's not when it goes up. It goes up when the signal comes on. What's this? This is the monkey there sitting and saying, I know this. I know the drill. I know this. I'm on top of this. This is going to be great. I know what I do now. This is completely perfect. 100% I'm going for today. Dopamine is not about pleasure. It's about the anticipation of pleasure. It's about the pursuit of happiness rather than happiness itself. And what's most remarkable is experimentally, if you block that rise of dopamine from occurring, you don't get the work. You don't get the behavior. This is not only the anticipation, but this is what is capable of eliciting goal-directed behavior. Amazing elaboration on this, which now begins to tell us something real familiar. Okay, so in this study, elaboration, rather than this design, you press the lever the right number of times, you get reward. Do the work, you get a reward 100% of the time, that's how it works. Now instead shift to where you get the reward only 50% of the time. You do the work and only about half the time you get the reward. So what happens to dopamine levels there this is what they do. They go through the roof. Because what have you just done? You've introduced the word maybe into the equation. And maybe is addictive like nothing else out there. Because the light comes on and you're doing the, I know how this works, this is gonna be great, but I screwed up last time because I didn't get the food, but this time I'm feeling good today, but I'm a total screw up though. And I'm inadequate in junior high school and it was terrible, and I'm kept, but maybe this time this is my lucky day. And just vacillating all over the place. What we see here is dopamine comes pouring out like mad. It's the uncertainty of the reward. And here's the really elegant thing they did in that study. Now, instead of a 50% reward rate, either a 25% or a 75%. These are diametrically opposite states. Worse news, better news, the only thing they have in common is you've decreased the level of unpredictability and the rise in dopamine winds up being halfway between the 50% and the 100. And what's this about? This is the world of brilliant social engineering by humans, say, in Las Vegas, who understand how to design a place to take a curve where somebody has a gazillionth of 1% chance of getting a reward and making you think because it's the special day in this casino and you especially are so much tilted to the right that you are going to get and humans are profoundly manipulable in this realm. And it turns out so are other species, the exact same neurochemistry. So what winds up being unique about us? And what you see is, with humans, it's the time dimension. You get the signal, you do the work, you get the reward. And the question becomes, how much time, lag time, can there be between the work and the reward to still elicit the behavior, to still get the work coming out? And we have just entered uniquely human terrain there for the very simple reason that probably most of us recognize, which is somewhere along the way, almost all of us worked very hard in school to get good SAT scores, to get into a good college, to get GREs, to get into a good grad school, to get a good job, to get in the nursing home of our children there sort of thing. And what we see is this astonishing ability of humans to keep those dopamine levels up for decades and decades waiting for the reward. And in the most bizarre, unique realm of this in humans, sometimes we could maintain it with a belief system where the reward doesn't come in our lifetime. The reward comes after our death. The reward comes in our afterlife. The reward comes unto the next generations. And there's no monkey out there who's willing to lever press all the time because of what St. Peter's going to think somewhere down the line. So that is unique about us.